I used to weigh 275 pounds and I knew I needed to lose weight because I was getting a lot of health problems, but I didn't want to do it by counting calories because any sort of number tracking was really overwhelming for me and every time I tried to do it, I failed. So I'm going to share with you seven simple tips that help me lose 130 pounds without counting calories. And these tips were so easy for me to do every day that it actually made me feel like I can do this. I can lose the weight and keep it off. And number one is switch from a bag or a container to eating from a bowl or a plate. Every night for a snack, I would have ice cream right out of the container or an entire bag of chips. Making the simple switch from pouring my chips into a bowl and only eating half the bag or putting my ice cream in a bowl it allowed me to eat what I wanted, the chips and the ice cream, without going overboard on the calories. So I ended up eating less without even tracking because I ate half the bag and put the other half in the freezer or split it with my husband. And then it was out of sight, out of mind, and I ate less, but I still got to eat what I liked, which allowed me to stay on track. Number two, I walked every single day, no matter what. I physically wasn't capable of doing much exercise, but I could walk a little bit. So I made a pact with myself that every day I would just get outside and do as much as I could. And at first I had plantar fasciitis really bad and I had to stop every five minutes or so to take a break, but I got out there for at least 15 minutes a day at the very beginning. And I often get asked this, how did you lose weight without counting calories? Like, how did you know if you didn't have a calorie number? And what I learned is the biggest thing, the reason that you lose weight is that you're in a calorie deficit. So you do that either by eating less or moving more or a combination of both. And because I was eating less by putting my chips and things in a bowl or putting it on a plate and I was moving my body, I was putting myself in a calorie deficit without counting the calories. Number three, this was a major one for me. I switched from regular pop to diet pop. I was drinking seven cans of Dr. Pepper, that was my favorite, every single day. And a can of Dr. Pepper is about 140 calories. So by switching from regular to diet pop, I was saving myself almost a thousand calories a day. I was still drinking seven cans, but I was drinking way less calories without even realizing it because the diet doesn't have any calories in it. Number four, I stopped eyeballing my food and actually started measuring it. I used to scoop as much as I wanted, many, many servings as well of food every single day without knowing how much I was actually eating. So I went out and I bought a food scale, measuring cups, measuring spoons, and I started looking at the backs of packages and reading what a serving size was. And instead of having lots and lots of servings or just scooping it on my plate, I started having one or two servings, depending on you know how much you got. And I was eating way, way less. And again, putting myself in a calorie deficit but I was measuring my food and portioning it out instead of tracking the calories. The fifth one is I swapped regular versions for low calorie versions, especially condiments. So instead of full fat mayo, full fat salad dressing, I switched them out for lower calorie versions, the light or the fat free. And that was saving me a lot of calories. On top of portioning it out and using the lower calorie version, I was saving like probably hundreds of calories a day without even realizing it. Number six was also a big one for me. I tracked everything by writing it in a food journal. And I did that for my first year. Every single night after 
I had eaten all my meals, I would write every single thing down. If I used oil for cooking, I would track it. If I used sweetener or any sort of like salad dressing, any extra, I made sure that I tracked it. That allowed me to see how many servings I was eating. It also held me accountable. So when I weighed myself at the end of the week, because I weighed myself once a week, if I lost weight, I knew that many servings that many portions was helping me lose the weight. If I didn't, I knew I needed to pull back a little on my serving sizes. So there I was losing weight without counting calories because I was keeping track with the food journal. And number seven, I stopped skipping meals, especially breakfast. Any time that I skipped meals, it set me up for failure because I would be so hungry by the end of the day, I would end up overeating. Instead, I set out that I would have five meals a day, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and two snacks. And I spread it out so that it was kind of evenly distributed throughout the day. And I didn't have a chance to be hungry because I always had a meal or a snack ready to go. Doing that allowed me to stay on track with my diet and I didn't end up overeating and I stayed in a calorie deficit, which helped me lose the weight. And I'm gonna throw in a bonus here drink more water. That was one thing, like I said, all I drank was pop. I barely drank any water at all. And what I learned was, if you're dehydrated, your body actually makes you think, it sends you signals that you're hungry when you're actually just dehydrated. So when I started incorporating more water into my diet, I was getting less hunger signals because I was now hydrating myself. And another thing is, when I drank water with my meals, it helped fill my belly up faster and longer. So drinking water with meals was a really good way to trick your belly into thinking that it was full because it is normal when you're eating in a calorie deficit. Um, you're eating less, so you are gonna feel hungry, but you won't feel super hungry if you're doing like certain things like the tips that I just shared with you. So the friends, if you want to know exactly what I ate, I do have weight loss guides. The links are down below for that, alongside of the link for the exact supplements that I use, which is huddled harder than last time. You can buy those things down below, or you can watch these two videos for more ideas on how I made weight loss fun and easy and sustainable and love my food and best actually enjoyed the journey. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next vid. <sighs> Peace out. <laughs> Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. <laughs>